Right then, I've seen a bunch of videos on these things. I thought they looked nuts. And then the company reached out and offered to send one over and I was like, uh, this is the incredible Soundbox 3. Pretty obvious what it is, but just in case you're struggling, it's a gigantic, super high quality Bluetooth speaker that was built with a bunch of really well thought out tech. In the box, you'll get the speaker, brick charger, the battery, a quick start guide, an Allen key, and some stickers no one's ever gonna use. Uh, the speaker's internal components have an IP65 rated coating, and the cabinet's made from poplar wood with a plastic layer over top, a powder coated aluminum frame, powder coated steel grill, and has these thick silicone balls on each corner, which I think was a really smart move. Now, you can take off the grill with that included Allen key and spray paint it to sort of make it your own. Same thing with the Soundbox logo, you can delete it from the grill, but if you wanna flex hard on your friends, I'd leave it on so they know what you've got. <laughs> the battery is bloody huge. It's got a 99 watt hour capacity, so basically the largest capacity you can legally ship or take on a plane. It's got a button to check the power status with five LEDs, and it's rated to last for up to 40 hours at medium volume and five hours at max, with only three and a half hours hours for a full charge. Plus, since it's removable and swappable, you can use the batteries from both the Soundbox 1 and 2, and you can always order additional batteries so you can just keep swapping out batteries all day long if you wanted. Uh, it's 11 and a half inches deep, 25 inches tall, and just under 17 inches wide and weighs 34 pounds, which is probably why there's a couple of beefy carry handles on both sides of those giant pulse reflex ports. At the top on the left side is where that chunky battery goes, and on the right side is the power button, volume dial, and a team up button for connecting up to four other sound box. Sound boxes. On the bottom at the back is where we've got a couple of auxiliary in and out ports, uh, two XLR inputs, and the bond button for managing the connections of multiple speakers, as I understand it. Kind of like the forget device option in your phone's Bluetooth settings, but for other sound box speakers, I guess. And then finally on the bottom, there's a capped hole for mounting onto a tripod speaker stand, which they did send me as well, but it arrived with a ton of damage because they don't pack it as well for shipping like they do with the sound box itself. So I can't recommend ordering their stand through them. Okay, time for the meat and potatoes. The sound box three uses three class D amplifiers, pushing out 216 total watts at three times 72 RMS, powering two 10 inch woofers, covering the mids and lows with a frequency range of 40 Hertz to 20 kilohertz and a one inch tweeter with a custom tweeter horn for wide dispersion and long throw. Altogether, spitting out up to 126 decibels at max volume of eardrum destroying magic. And it's clean magic too, like there's zero distortion through the levels, which they were able to achieve by implementing something called an intelligent boost converter that constantly analyzes the audio signal and boosts the voltage from 12.8 volts to 24 volts when the signal demands a larger surge of power, like when a bass beat hits, for example. This is what gives the Sandbox its huge volume with no audio clipping instead of using a lazy compressor like most other brands do. Uh, there's a little more to it than that, like with battery savings and better audio quality, but I'm not trying to turn this video into a science project, so you should go check out the Soundbox website for more info on that, because the tech used in this is actually really impressive and probably why it carries a thousand dollar price tag. Anyways, the Sandbox 3 is running with Bluetooth 5.0 and has a really clean, intuitive companion app that has three existing EQ profiles to choose from, which gives a little info on each one's max volume, average battery life at max volume, and a short description. You can also make a bunch of custom EQs, but just keep in mind, the higher you push the lows, the more battery you're gonna use. Uh, I think most people will find they're happy with the power profile because it's really well balanced and still gets great battery life, but that base plus profile is a lot of fun to flip to every now and then. It sounds awesome. The indoor profile is pretty boring. I mean, you'll get the best battery life with it, but it's got a fairly weak EQ. Okay, enough's enough. Let's listen to some tunes, but keep in mind I'm recording the audio through my mixer, running it through post, which then compresses it, uploading it to YouTube, which then compresses it again, and then it goes through your browser or app, and then your device's speakers. So. <laughs>
hopefully the audio quality came through at least a little. Uh, it's an incredible speaker. The audio quality is outstanding at all volume levels, but it really sounds best at 50% or higher. This is one of those speakers you gotta hear in person. Uh, like I said, the indoor profile is pretty weak, but that power profile is actually pretty well balanced and has an awesome soundstage. And the bass plus profile is nuts, especially when you crank up the volume, you get a solid thumb to the chest. I love it. And Jesus Murphy, does this thing get loud. In fact, in case you haven't noticed, the volume dial actually goes up to 11 instead of 10, which is kind of tongue in cheek, but it's probably the company's way of expressing how bloody loud this thing gets. So you could easily fuel a large indoor or outdoor party. Uh, musicians will love it, DJs will love it, but if you're just wanting something for home audio with the option to take it with you, this is one solid, solid option. Anyways, I'll throw a link to the product page in the description for you, but I think that's gonna do it for this one. I really hope you liked the video. If you did and wanna support me, do me a favor and tap that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. But thanks as always for watching, and I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Cheers.